chlorination of water chlorination systems are a very useful and a practical way to handle a wide variety of water quality problems chlorine used in chlorination is both an oxidant and a disinfectant a leading advantage of chlorination is that it has proven effective against bacteria and viruses however it cannot inactivate all microbes like protozoa cysts now question arises how does chlorine inactivate microorganisms the answer to above question is very simple the microorganisms are present in water when the microorganisms get exposed by the chlorine it inactivates a microorganism by damaging its cell membrane once the cell membrane is weakened the chlorine can enter the cell and disrupt two processes that are necessary for cell survival cell respiration and dna activity now let us see the detail of the components involved in a chlorination system a typical chlorination system consists of the well which is the water source the well pump shown is the pump that provides water flow and pressure to the plumbing system the sample port shown is a hose bib or other valve that is installed to test the water quality it is important to have a sample port prior to any water treatment equipment to test the untreated water at this point the injector fitting is a special fitting that has been designed to handle the corrosive chlorine and to prevent water from the pressurized pipe from flowing backwards into the chlorinator and or solution tank the system also contains the chemical feed pump which creates high pressure and low flow depending on the model some of these pumps flow as low as 1 by 4 ounce per minute solution tank shown in the video is a non pressurized tank that holds some mixture of liquid chlorine and purified water in some cases straight liquid chlorine is used the system also contains a retention tank also called as contact tank which is designed to provide sufficient contact time contact time is required for the chlorine to properly and complete serve its intended purpose normally a 20 minute contact time is required for chlorination systems pressure tank uses compressed air in a sealed compartment to act as a buffer to store the pressure created by the well pump based upon the pressure being sensed pressure switch turns on or off the well pump most chlorination water systems also use the pressure switch to turn on or off the chemical feed pump at the same time the well pump turns on or off to remove the excess chlorine and a wide variety of organics from the water supply dechlorination filter is also present in the system the model shown also includes an automatic back washing controller if iron or manganese is present in the well water it is very important to install a back washing dechlorination filter after the chlorination is performed water leaves from the point called as water out the water become ready for either further treatment by a softener or other device and or distribution into the building's plumbing system from where it is used for further use